Okay, the first thing I want to go over as far as being a wide receiver is catching the football. It doesn't matter how fast you are, how quick you are, how big you are, if you can't catch the football, you're going to have a hard time playing wide receiver. We emphasize four points in catching a football here at Florida State. They are see, catch, tuck, and cover. You've got to see the ball, catch the ball, tuck the ball, and cover the ball. Now I'd like now to demonstrate those four points. Now the first thing you do, seeing the ball. As I said, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter how good a receiver he is. If I cover his eyes, he is not going to catch the football. So that's the point of seeing the football. So first, when the ball's thrown, he's going to watch the football into his hands. He's got his eyes on the ball. Now throw it down low. When he throws the ball down low, he sees his eyes go down to the football. Now, I want our receivers to overemphasize this. Throw them a high ball one time. When the ball's thrown up high, I want to see the up under the chin of the wide receiver. I want to see his eyes up on the football. Throw him a pass down low. When the ball is thrown down low, I want to see his eyes down on the football. I should be able to see the top of his head. That lets me know his eyes are on the football. A lot of receivers, a lot of receivers keep your head up. Throw them a low ball and keep your head up. A lot of receivers won't watch the ball down, and this is what you'll see when, they're not, when they don't have their eyes on the football. So we're going to put a lot of emphasis on getting your eyes on the football. All right, one of the things that, that I ask our receivers to concentrate on is hand position on the football. As you see the ball, we focused on the little black dot on the end of the football. In other words, if a ball is coming right at you, and it's in a nice tight spiral, you'll see that white circle on the football, but right in the center of that circle is that little black dot, and that's what we're focusing on, catching the front end of the football. Now as you watch Jason catch the ball, you'll see him freeze it for a second as he catches it. He's actually looking for the hand position that he has on the ball. Much like a, a basketball player shooting a basketball, we want to emphasize catching the ball in our fingers and not our palms. There's a lot of emphasis on soft hands. So you'll see, to have soft hands, you can't have the ball caught against the palms. So you'll see him freeze and actually look at his hand position on the football. The next part of catching a football is the tuck. He sees the ball, he catches it, he freezes it, he looks at his hand position, and now I want him to bring it down into a tuck position. Now we'll do this every day, and as they warm up, they'll practice tucking the ball under the right arm and under the left arm and having a feel for both. Now one point on the tuck that we tell our receivers, if Jason, if you'll turn sideways for this. We tell our receivers, if you're running a, a pass route that is going across the field, tuck the ball to the side of the quarterback. So if Jason is running a route across the field in this direction, He's going to tuck the ball to the side of the back, away from the, the hit out of the secondary. If you'll turn around and get it the other way. The same example with Jason running a route this way. He's going to tuck the ball to the side of the quarterback. That's why when you warm up, you must practice tucking the ball under both arms. Now, as, as you watch Jason work, you'll see that he's watching the football all the way into the tuck. We don't want them to take their eyes off of the football until the ball is tucked away. I want to just talk briefly about tucking the football away. There are three pressure points in tucking a football. One here, this end of the football with the hand, the next in the V of the armpit, and the third pressure point is where the forearm squeezes the ball against the rib cage. I want the receiver to squeeze the ball into the V of his armpit and then with the forearm squeeze it against his rib cage so that the ball can't be knocked out or knocked out from behind. Now he's going to squeeze it firmly and hold it tight and that's that's how we emphasize protecting the football after the catch. Last thing I want to go over on catching a football. You see the ball, he's watched the ball into his hand, he's tucked the ball away. Now when the wide receiver is running in a crowd, we want him to cover the ball with his free hand. He's squeezing the ball is with, into his rib cage. He's going to cover it with the free hand when collisions, when he's around a lot of bodies.